What is that thing? I asked. I pointed to the brightly colored mammal sitting on the counter, slumped over, with a fat belly and its tiny legs dangling over the edge. It was small enough that you could cup it in your hands. It was sleeping, or dead. Him? Yeah, I see these things everywhere. Counter monkey. Counter monkey? Well, Jaren said, technically it's not a monkey. I mean, we call them counter monkeys. I don't know what its actual species is. It might be a frog. It doesn't have a tail. It has fur, I said. Yeah, you know, he said. I leaned in and peered at the thing more closely. Maybe it was a frog. It was resting its hands on its knees like a frog might. It had a huge head. Did it have a neck? What's its deal? I asked. Why are these things everywhere? They're delicious, Jaren said. I imagined ordering this one and someone clubbing it over the head with a stick and handing it to me. I must have looked puzzled. Here, I'll show you, he said. The man behind the counter handed him his bowl of soup. Jaren stroked the counter monkey on the head and it woke up. Its enormous eyes glinted brown and yellow. It was leering. Those eyes said, You know what you want. With one hand, Jaren held his bowl of soup up to the counter monkey like he was going to let him sniff the aroma. With the other, he took a firm grasp around its belly, pressing hard with his thumb. <coughs> the monkey vomited a brown, sludgy crystal into the soup. Jaren stroked it on the head. The counter monkey winked at him and went back to sleep. What did I just see? I asked. It's delicious. I don't know how it works. Whatever you feed this thing, it has a few stomachs, and it turns its food into, I don't know, pellets? Like something it can digest. But whatever it is, it's really sweet and savory. Makes your stuff delicious. But I don't want to eat counter monkey vomit. You have to try it, Jaren said. I don't think I do, I said. The man behind the counter handed me my soup. He looked at me with the same smutty look the counter monkey had just given Jaren. You know what you want. And it's dirty. It can't be good for you to eat some other animal's throw up, I said. Oh no, it's amazing for your gut health. These things live forever. This little guy is probably 300 years old. Jaren put his bowl on the counter and took mine. He woke up the counter monkey and squeezed it aggressively. <coughs> and spewed two thick pieces of that sludge into the soup, then hacked and sputtered a few more little strands of something in there. It looked up at Jaren and raised an eyebrow at him. Whew, it said. The man behind the counter took a little bowl of some kind of stringy fungus and set it next to the counter monkey. Without looking, the monkey reached into the bowl and started to feed itself, keeping an eye on Jaren with a raised eyebrow. Thanks, I said. No problem, he said. You'll love it. Jaren paid for the soup. The little episode with the counter monkey had tripled the price. My fault, I guess. <laughs>